These are fungus farming ants which live in Central and South America. They're amazing creatures. They don't actually eat the plants that they gather themselves. They gather plants, huge quantities of, of leaves, which they cut, beautifully cut with little scissor jaws, and then carry them back to the nest, where they use them as compost to grow a fungus. And it's the fungus that they actually eat. The fungus produces sprouting mushrooms, and they eat those. So the ants gather the compost on which the fungus grows. Huge colonies, gigantic colonies of these, of these fungus growing ants. They're farming ants. Now, unfortunately, there's an, another species of fungus, which is a pest. It's a crop pest which specializes only in growing on the ant's own fungus. So this fungus uniquely grows in ants' nests, nowhere else, and this pest uniquely grows on the fungus, which is the crop that the ants grow. It's an astonishing analogy to human farming. And it gets even better. The ants go around and actually control the pest, actually eat off the pest fungus to, just, just like a farmer, weeding. They go around weeding. And it's been shown experimentally that if you remove the ants, then the pest flourishes. As long as the ants are there, the pest is kept down. But there's another way in which the pest is kept down. On the back of the ant's neck there are little patches which are bacteria. And the bacteria grow there and they only grow there. And they secrete an antibiotic which attacks the pest, which attacks the fungus which the ants grow. It's a very, very complicated symbiotic relationship between ants, the fungus that they grow, the pest that attacks the fungus, and the bacteria that grows on the ants that attacks the pest.